Hi Aquarius, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Aquarius, let's see what's the message here for you today. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Aquarius Spirit, Three of Swords, Five of Cups, Ten of Cups. Emperor, in the middle of my center of my spread today. Okay, so the emperor is taking over this uh, reading. Uh -huh. Okay, bottom of my deck, page of cups in reverse. Somebody is heartbroken here, big time, big time. They don't, they don't want either to focus on whatever didn't work out in the past. They want to focus more on the happiness that is yet to come. I think one person here wants. Mm, they want to heal this connection. There could be some communication coming or maybe somebody is hoping that their person will communicate to them. I think there's stagnancy right now though. Maybe they're waiting for an apology, waiting for a com uh, some communication, waiting for that person to take responsibility. So let's see what's going to happen. Um, Aquarius, let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then I'll clarify these. Aquarius and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Okay, let's take a few more Aquarius from another deck. Aquarius and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be just a few more from a third deck as well Aquarius and then we'll start the reading Aquarius and their person spirit if they could say something to each other all right good to go Aquarius let's start the reading and if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataru at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. The first card here says, My soul is awakening. I'm coming back for you soon. My decision was wrong and I'm feeling the consequences of my actions and my decisions. I always knew from day one that you were the one for me. Meeting you was the best thing that ever happened to me. After I found you, I never looked back. I want to be 100% honest and transparent with you. I'm haunted by your presence. I see you in my dreams. I hear you telepathically Every song I hear reminds me of you. I see your name everywhere and numbers that have special meaning to us. Everything reminds me of you and all I want is you. If this is happening to you, why do you stay at a distance? There is no escaping for me when I try to move on. Then I'm even more haunted. I admire you. I care about you. I trust you. I respect you and I love you unconditionally. You are my true love. My heart breaks a little bit more every day that we are apart. I've always loved you and I always will. From the very first moment I looked into your eyes, I knew that you were my eternal love. You say that I'm your divine true love and that I'm always on your mind. I don't understand then how you could have then ghosted, ignored and even blocked me so much over the years. There are times when you've denied my existence so much that I felt the pain might only end if I no longer existed. I'm at a breaking point right now because you apologize. However, you continue to make the same mistakes. This has become toxic behavior which needs addressing if you want this relationship to work. Alright, so these were some of your messages Aquarius. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start the reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels want to bless my aqua gang with today. A blessing, guidance, advice or a message. 
learning experience this could be a karmic soulmate or maybe uh, you would you two were brought together to learn lessons from each other aquarius maybe the lesson is learned now that's why the heartbreak is there uh, they say all soulmates don't come into your life forever it's for a reason season or a lifetime so i'm not saying you guys can't come back together but you guys had to teach each other a big big lesson here learning experience all right so spirit tell me why is there heartbreak in this connection at the moment what's this three of swords what's the three of swords for this connection one more yeah somebody was i think hoping that their person would sooner or later message them or talk to them uh, maybe they were hoping that uh, the the hurt heart or the both your hearts whatever whoever's hurting i mean that maybe this can heal right so they they were not sure but they were hoping that the other person would message first or something but um, but they're going through a tower they feel they feel that things are crumbling in this connection um things are just not working out they are confused they could be alone they could be now reminiscing thinking uh, maybe feeling that um, their person is pushing them away or something i think this person has been manifesting an apology from the other person which hasn't come hoping that the past can be put in the past and you know we can move forward maybe they've been manifesting hoping that that person will fight for them hoping to uh, retain their position in that person's life where there is abundance and fertility and growth and whatever wanting a 10 of cups a happily ever after yeah the the i somebody here wants to get back the happy times they don't want to be left out in the cold they don't want to be left behind i think this person has been waiting 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 for the happiness to return back into this connection but they feel that person is just not putting in the work somebody wants answers they want answers no, i think this one one person here has been waiting patiently for um, things to get better it's like yeah but they've been waiting but they're losing they're losing a little bit of courage and faith at the moment uh they feel things are backfiring on them because their person is just not stepping up they're not stepping up they're not taking responsibility what if i lose my person i want this commitment i want you know things to be forgotten in the past so we can move forward so what's the emperor spirit in center of my spread what's the emperor what's the emperor Yeah, somebody doesn't want to lose. I think the person who's waiting for an apology wants that person to step up. I like. I want you to be the person who takes responsibility of this connection. Uh, maybe makes things right, or because I want to have. We are a perfect match. We are a perfect pair. But now they feel that all those baby games one was playing, uh, it's kind of backfiring here. Uh, there's a fear that uh, things are ending because as much as somebody was hoping that their person would step up and do right by them they feel that person is maybe out there pursuing their own passions or something uh, maybe not uh, doing what they want them to do uh, it could be making the other person very very upset and angry uh, maybe maybe feeling a, a little bit of a ego uh, hit as well maybe they feel knocked down from you know feeling victorious this person was really sitting and thinking that uh i want to have victory i want to feel good uh, they were wishing and hoping for that uh, but right now somewhere they feel that person is making uh, the wrong choices uh, or ending this commitment uh, whoever this person is who's wanting this happily ever after they definitely want to give this a second chance here definitely wanting to communicate uh tell me about the eight of wands eight of wands yes this person is feeling that uh, a little worried maybe or maybe feeling a little emotional because they're not sure whether their person loves them or doesn't love them or is it over or you know uh whether they will get that offer that they were expecting give me more for the uh, eight of wands yep they want that person to communicate they want that person to uh, it's like i want you to step up and do and say and do everything right it's like uh, it's like we are the perfect match 
and I want a happily ever after. Forget about whatever happened in the past and do right by me because I want this. Uh, but I think things are stagnant right now. So, the, the, yeah, it's like uh, somebody is a bit worried, I think, that this chapter may be shutting down or their person doesn't love them anymore or is emotionally closed off from them. Uh, it's not making this person happy at all. They feel uh, very, very unhappy because they feel none of my dreams and wishes will come true. Uh, somebody could be uh, isolated right now or praying or wishing or hoping that things turn around and uh, this Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles situation remains and that person does right by them. Am I right, Spirit? Yeah, they don't. They want to come out of the stress and anxiety and sleepless nights. Um, maybe they were they they are waiting for that person to take action towards them. They could be a little worried that that person is moving on, maybe or is interested in somebody new now, right? So that's the reason for feeling a little uh, lack of victory or feeling uh, you know embarrassed, maybe or feeling shame because they feel that that person is maybe emotionally walking away from them. I think this person was waiting for that person to apologize to them, make things right with them because this is important, this connection is important. And because that person hasn't yet maybe come forward with an apology or that communication or something, it's making, making the other person feel, yeah, what if they move on to somebody new? What if I lose? What if I don't get that victory? So I, I have a feeling somebody's in heavy contemplation regarding that. Tell me about the uh, page of uh, cups in reverse spirit for Aquarius. Maybe you guys had an argument or a fight or something. I don't know what happened here. But I do have one individual here waiting, waiting, waiting for an apology. An apology to clear the air uh, so that the past can be forgotten and, uh, you know, we can move on but I think the disappointment here is that the person has not yet stepped up or is fighting for the connection. They feel it's unfair. They feel it's uh, their person is breadcrumbing them or not offering them what they deserve. They want to know the truth. Yep, I said that and here it is. They want to know the truth. They want to know the truth. Uh, maybe they feel their person is keeping secrets from them. Whoever this person is who's wanting a happily ever after with their person definitely has been waiting for their person to return. Right? So that's what I have for you. Till next time then Aquarius, love and light. Take care. Namaste.